Welcome in section 2 of Practical JavaScript with jQuery 3.x course. In previous section, we have bootstrapped football highlights application. From webpack configuration into AS6 support and ending with document object model basics. So in this section, at the beginning, we will dig into selectors and filters. That's gonna be an essential feature used with manipulation page content. Then we will discover browser events and document loading. And at the end of this section, we'll gain practical knowledge about event handlers and we'll be doing a bunch of examples using keyboard and mouse events. So in this video, we are going to focus on selectors and filters. For selecting and filtering elements, we have to create some HTML markup. At the moment, our index.html is empty. I've prepared an initial HTML page structure based on Bootstrap Framework components. So let's select the old markup and paste the new one. And as you can see, I've used a couple of bootstrap components like navigation or grid. We can find these reusable components on their site in components tab that you may see on the screen. But it's only an HTML. And to use styles for these components, we have to include them in Bootstrap RC configuration file. So let's go to the Bootstrap RC. And let's use utilities, navbar, type, and grid. And in the build process, Webpack will import styles for provided components and inject them into our application. Also, we may want to add a custom styles to our project. To do that, Let's create a file in the SAS folder and call it app.scss. This file will be an entry point file for our custom styles. But instead of adding this file in the webpack configuration file, we can add it in the bootstrap RC. So go to the bootstrap RC file and create a property App styles and the value we have to provide a, a path to our entry point. So we do will be a dot slash src sas and app dot scss. In this file, let's create a custom styles for the header title. So I'll paste that. And as you can see, we change the padding, font weight, font size. We add a media breakpoint app mixing from the Bootstrap framework. So when we go to the Bootstrap RC, we see that the first, the webpack, fire the styles from the Bootstrap. And then we can use those styles in our app styles. So if we go to the mixins in the node modules Bootstrap SCSS, we'll see that it imports the, the breakpoint mixins. And in the breakpoint mixins, there is a media breakpoint app mixins that we use in our custom styles. So finally, we can run our application to see the results. So go to the command line and fire webpack and webpack dev server and provide the, the configuration file. And as we can see, that's how our football highlights application look like. So at the moment, uh, there is a lot of things that, that's gonna be improved, but we do that later on in the course. So we can check the header title. So as you can see, there is a header title class and there are styles for, for this class. Now we can up and running with jQuery selectors. jQuery selectors are used to select DOM elements in the HTML page. The library contains a wide range of selectors which can select HTML elements based on their element name, ID, attribute values, visibility, element order and many other criteria. A jQuery selector is a string which specifies which HTML elements to select. The selector string is passed to the dollar sign 
with parentheses or jQuery with parentheses selection function, which returns an enhanced collection of the selected elements. Furthermore, the collection contains a lot of utility functions which can be applied to all elements in the set, like traversal features, event features, or effects features. Most of the selectors in jQuery are based on existing CSS selectors, but the library also has its own custom selectors. For selectors, jQuery library is using Sysl library. When it comes to the jQuery filters, they are basically used to make selectors much powerful and they are much similar to CSS pseudo classes. For instance, we can select the first matched DOM element and we can divide selectors and filters into a basic selectors, a cure key selectors, basic filters, content filters, attribute filters, child filters, forms, and form filters.